I'm Danny Butler. This is the Mecha Techno Dragonfly. And this week we're back in Spain and I'm sweating my balls off. And it's all about a brand new bike because this is Trial Tube. <laughs> So we have, I'm going to say the new, but this bike's been in development now for a good few years. People have seen it on the grapevine and it's definitely something that people have been interested in and also wondering when is it going to come out. The Mecha Techno Dragonfly is a bit of a, a tribute to the original Mecha Techno Dragonfly, as in the fact that it looks nothing like the original, but it carries the same name. And Mecha Techno were a brand that were very forward thinking back in the early 90s and late 80s with bikes like the Dragonfly and the Skywalker and you can always tell a Mecha Techno because the exhaust might root in a slightly different direction or the wheels were steel and looked like stars. Basically, this brand weren't afraid to do something different. Dice que tiene millo, pero no tiene nada. Tengo Gucci Prada, Valenciaga, todo lo que tú quieras ver. Palomo, alerta. Porque tengo los millones, chones, 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 chones. Porque tengo los millones, chones, 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 chones. Porque tengo los millones, tengo los millones, tengo los millones, tengo los millones. Porque tengo los millones, tengo los millones. Nada no me hace feliz, pero a ti falta yo juego con mi lamo y ese mil en tu lavanja. Es un centrico como el pana arca. Esto es bajo porque la meta está muy alta. Vamos a volar, a volar, a volar. Vamos a volar, a volar. Vamos, vamos a volar, a volar, a volar. Donde estoy pegado, donde tú no cascarás. Hey guys, I am Jorge Casales and you are watching Trial Tube. Now of course it's nice to be back out in Spain. As an Englishman I'm really enjoying the fact that I'm sweating my entire body weight just moving. No. Talking about weight, Mega Techno have actually succeeded in centralizing the weight of the battery. So the battery actually starts up here and goes all the way down to sort of like the shocker area. Um, don't worry for any of you uh, negative people. The battery doesn't clip the swing arm or the shocker or any of that. They, you know, they've done some bike design. That's kind of how it works. And honestly, the way that this bike moves is, is it's incredible. I don't want to blow smoke up it because I haven't done a lot of riding and we're going to do the full test in a second, but they've actually managed to make an essentially heavy item, a battery, feel nimble and move well and it's crazy. The bike only has one gear, but obviously the power delivery is linear and again with the engine bike, sorry, with the electric bikes, they are different to ride. I don't want you to like get an electric bike and think that it is going to be in comparison or even in competition with a combustion engine because it's not. It's a completely different thing. One's powered by fossil fuel, the other one is powered by battery. That's mine, but we're not gonna get into that. No. This bike has not only succeeded in making a heavy battery feel light, it is light, really light. Let's talk aesthetics. Aesthetically and design-wise, Mecha Techno have done something different. This bike is definitely not the norm, and they've gone for that future style, maybe a functional style, to, let's say, be different, but at the same time, bring down the weight of the electric Charles motorcycle. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So let's point some things out. So first things first, the central mast of the bike is actually the battery where it's housed in the center of the frame, helping the bike to become more rigid. And I'm told that, well, I've actually seen as well, that the battery actually is removed just by removing four small pins, which 
if you ask me, is rapid. It's definitely as fast as filling up a petrol tank, for instance. And this morning, we went on a huge excursion and the bike's battery lasted extremely well. The position that the motor's actually housed in the frame there is slightly higher to improve ground clearance. And at the same time, uh, the motor can be actually changed out of the bike. So at future points, if there is a problem with it, you can slot this one out and slot a new one straight in from the side. Winner. So we have a heat dissipator that uh, basically keeps the bike below 45 degrees and maximizes the temperature of the bike so that it runs at a constant, which is nice. Uh, it keeps the bike cool. And for those of you that want to keep that sort of traditional looking trials bike, it almost looks like a radiator. So that should make you happy. And I'm not saying that Mecha Techno have done it differently, but their frame is actually made up of three different materials. We've got the aluminium CNC section at the bottom there. We've got the chromo steel part at the top end. And in the middle of it, there's also some torsion bars, which can be changed out dependent on the feel and reaction time of the bike. So you can actually fine tune the frame. Cool. Now we're gonna to come to the brakes and the wheels, the wheels around and the brakes, they work. Uh, it's fitted with the brake tech brakes. And honestly, nothing bad to say about those because they're good. And the wheels are pretty much the wheels that we all know and love. So I'm not gonna talk about that either. So onto the swing arm where we have, believe it or not, the swing arm is actually a CNC billet, which is glued together. And the reason why it's glued, I'm told, is to avoid internal tensions which you know could damage the swing arm at some point and also giving a better feel through the bike. So again, doing something different, is it wrong? No. Now Mecha Techno have really thought about their clutch. Believe it or not, it's got a real clutch. I'm gonna say a real clutch as in, it's the kind of clutch feel that we all would associate with how a clutch should feel. But at the same time, this clutch can actually be changed out and serviced by only removing, again, five screws and in the words of the boss man here, you take the hamburger out and you put a new one in and it's all good to go. I don't know what the hamburger reference is about, but it works. So for you speed freaks, the bike uh, maxes out at 60 kilometers an hour. You can work that out into mile an hour if you uh, went to school. And believe it or not, it only actually carries 50 milliliters of oil. That's nothing. So sustainable. I think they're trying to I don't know, maybe they're taking the whole let's go green thing a bit too seriously. Oh, and the stickers are um, stick on. All the Mecha Techno bikes that are gonna come out are gonna come out with a M4 fork, um, which is quite a bit lighter, and the Olin's three-way shock, which again, quality suspension, can't argue with that. Okay. Let's party. So, just like the comparative brands, lanyard in, we've got the power button, three modes, green, blue, and red. The green one, lower power, the blue one, mid power, and the red, oh my God, please God help me. Nah, it's not that bad. Section time. I'm actually gonna try and do the same section I did on the gas gas video, because <laughs> I don't know the venue that well, but I had a test section there that I think worked really well. It had some big things in it as well. Remember, I was riding a 300cc gas gas in that video. Another little splat next up. So right now we're about to put a relatively brand new bike against a company that has had a bike out every year since about 1989, I think, off the top of my head. But we'll see how the Mecha Techno fares, who I think had a bike out the last time in about 1989. Into the section, and it feels Nice and planted, but it's super light. This is the thing that I think most people aren't gonna realize. When I move around this bike, in comparison to a brand that shall not be named, it, it's obscenely light. But because it's light, does it mean that it's gonna be as 
as planted in the way. Obviously the bike's very well balanced and the suspension feels premium. Remember we've got that M4 fork twinned with the Olins. But here we go, first step, first section, first time ever. Up she goes, look at that. And it's almost like a bicycle to move around. I can't even tell you how light this bike is. At just under 60 kilos, it's, it's fun. Now, as we make our way down, let's try some of that old school shiznit. So, settling up, nice little turn there. Now, honestly, I can't tell you, from somebody who rides a push bike trials bike so often, this thing feels and moves so easily. But does it launch as well as it should do? Let's find out. <laughs> so in front of me, nice big step. I've been told not to rev it up and to just let it go of its own accord. You find a lot of these, um, a lot of the electric bikes work better if you aren't hanging off the clutch, you know? Basically delivering that power in a slightly different style but still delivering it. Here we go. Oh, I'm a bit nervous, I'm gonna be honest. Always am. <laughs> oh yeah, it really took off. No. Fortunately for me, didn't drop a dab. But like I said, it is different, you know? What you'll notice is I'm also not panting, so. Take that as you will, and the weight difference. Oh my goodness, took off like a rocket. Wow, yeah, that was almost an accident. But then again, so am I. Okay. Oh my God, look at that bad boy go. So straight up that rock, and we have that nice little splat in front of us. Can we use the kicker though? Oh! So here we go. The same splat that I hit on the gas gas. Slightly different style and technique for the Mecha Techno. So it's a bit more linear. We're gonna go up the front. But easily done. Now using the kicker, this is slightly different because the electric bike, all electric bikes, Deliver the power slightly different, so there's a different feeling when you take off from the floor, and I think that this can be managed by leaning further back. So it's not a bike fault, more than a rider fault, and you have to get used to it, so if you are uninitiated and splatting something, don't do it till you can. Now, something that I'm gonna say about the Mecha Techno, not only on the maneuverability of the bike, <laughs> it, it really does move well, is the fact that you, you really don't need the clutch so much, you know? If you've got a steady hand, the power delivery really does allow you to be, oh, what's the best way to describe it? You can introduce the power, you know? And this is, this is a big deal, but is it going to be a big deal for me up this quite large rock section now, which Mecha Techno was super worried about me crashing, so I have a minder. And for good bloody reason. Because I'm still figuring out how to introduce the power a little bit. Because this is a lot different than any other electric bike I've ever ridden in my life. I'm going to say it's, it's, it's pretty good, you know. Okay. Here we go. Yes, a little, I, I keep calling it a little Mecha Techno, but honestly, it doesn't feel little. This is a full-size bike with full-size hope and dreams. What a monster. So after making our way up that rock step there, we're turning ourselves around and we've got this nice little roll down, which is steeper than it looks, I promise. You know what they say about things looking small on camera? No. Now, uh, the Dragonfly, 
has got an insane style of ground clearance that just makes you confident to roll off anything because of the way and shape that the sump plate is, I guess. It's not really got an oil sump, has it? It's just got a metal plate, but you know what I mean. So here we go. Nice and gently over the top. It didn't even catch. So here we go, the second one, also really steep, you can see, entering it nice and slow. Ooh. Oh yeah. So fetch. What is fetch? Oh, it's like slang from England. So we did that. Nice little section there. And honestly, I'm not gonna tell you what I think. Not yet, because it's now time for three good things and three bad things about the new Mecha Techno Dragonfly. Good thing number one is the weight. It is lighter than pretty much every trials bike I have ever ridden in my entire life. Um, any, any one of them that's basically powered with something that doesn't involve the pedals. Now, because of this lack of weight, it makes the bike super nimble, it moves well, and honestly, it's fun. So much fun. Good thing number two, without me falling over in the sand, is that Mecha Techno have thought outside the box. I can appreciate a nice bit of innovation as much as the next man. And by them reinventing the wheel, shall we say, and centralizing the weight and even putting a hole in the frame, which isn't a problem because you shouldn't be looking there anyway. They've really pushed the envelope on how a trials bike should be designed. So you know what? <laughs> the good thing number two goes to innovation. Good thing, numero tres. The Dragonfly is, because of its weight, it allows us to use different parts, bring other parts into the trials world that is, that are a nice introduction. Just because it's light doesn't mean it's not planted. The suspension works great. The bike is super well balanced and grips phenomenally. Like, really good. Time for the bad. Bad thing number one. Now bad thing number one isn't actually Mecha Techno's fault. Bad thing number one is all down to the audience. Now because this bike is so different, it will struggle to be received well. Because it doesn't look just like every other trials bike, people are gonna have an opinion. And my God, we love an opinion on this channel. But this bike may not be received well because it's different. And is different being bad? We'll see. It all depends on if people try the bike, keep an open mind, and then are allowed, oh, I don't know, to enjoy trials the way it should be enjoyed. So bad thing number one is it's different and it might scare some people away. Bad thing, number two. So this may be petty, um, but I try and be fair. Bad thing number two is about this edge just here. Now this edge today, for some reason, although the bike overall is actually thinner than a standard bike, when I say standard bike, I mean comparative to every motorcycle uh, or combustion engine bike, if you will, it is slightly thinner, so you wouldn't think it, but you shouldn't really catch this. But a couple of times today, it's dug me in the leg a little bit like a gas gas, or the old gas gas, not the new gas gas. Um, obviously, we've got that review on the channel a little bit earlier on. You can check that out. But it did dig me in the leg a little bit, so I guess plastics on the electric bikes are quite minimal, and they really are just there to stop you getting covered in mud, or dust in the Spanish case. So, uh, I don't know if there's a way to do this, but maybe make this less, should we say less, less sharp or, I don't know. Anyway, it took me in the leg a couple of times and yeah, 
picky, but I can only say what I see. Ah, bad thing number three is not the hole in the front of the frame when your uh, when your when your midsection's just in front of the hole. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, that's not bad thing number three, by the way. The, the hole in the frame actually doesn't bother me. Um, I think it's quite cool. It's also where all the electrics are centralised. But anyway, we're going off topic. Bad three number. Bad thing number three. Bad three number thing. No. Thing number three is the power delivery. I couldn't get used to it today. Um, but when it was delivered, it was delivered well, smoothly, and held grip. If you watch the uh, the section riding back, you'll see that the back wheel hardly comes off the floor, and it's almost like a caterpillar going over every rock and enveloping the rock on its way over. But for me, it occasionally caught me out and cost me a dab, which we all know there's nothing worse than dropping a dab. Worse than taxes, sort of. So yeah, three good, three bad. Dance off, bro. Me and you. I'm Jordi, Jordi Mila, and I am the actual owner of the Mecha Techno brand. So we're very lucky to have with us Jordi from Mecha Techno, who honestly has got the kind of history and longevity in the sport that we'd all wish we had. And most importantly, the passion to start a bike brand. So welcome to the channel, Jordi. And a few questions. How long have you been in trials? You said one question only. No. How long? Uh, well, since I was uh, 14, I guess, pretty much. And 21 now? I'm 45. 45. Uh, what inspired you to start or to restart Mecha Tech now? Well, it's, uh, it's difficult to answer in only one question, in one answer. Uh, the point is that um, trials is my passion and building things and designing things my other passion. I've been involved in the field of innovation for, let's say, 30 years. And uh, that was a chance to, you know, match and bring everything together. So that was the point, yeah. That was basically everything. What is your vision for Mecha Techno? Where would you like it to go? Um, well, the vision is that we want to build something that makes a difference something that uh, brings a smile on on you know on the rider's face and that something that doesn't break something that is expensive by the way when he said expensive he actually means like a product that is reflection of quality versus price he doesn't mean he wants to basically make a bike that's unaffordable i think his english is really good it's way better than my spanish so be nice and something that is qualitative. Hmm? So uh, the vision for the future is to have a range of um, trials bikes that go very well and that allow people to do things that with other bikes they couldn't do. If we can. <laughs> and I got him on camera, he said he wouldn't do an interview, but he just did, so. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Thank you, Jordy. You're welcome. Thank you for having us along today. And yeah, still sweating. <laughs> ah. Well, there we go. Another successful <laughs> trip to Spain where I get to ride bikes in the sunshine and you get to benefit from some, well, comfort of your own home whilst watching this content. Now, remember, please like, share, and subscribe. Trial Tube is forever growing, and I cannot thank you enough for watching the episodes. If I am doing this for my own enjoyment, then you should be doing this to enjoy my enjoyment. That makes sense? Probably not. Tune in next time, where we have the JBR. It's like this as in it's red and black and I am probably going to hurt myself reviewing it so tune in for that, be good. In the meantime, turn on the notifications bell so you can get told when our next episode's out because Trial Tube is so close to becoming one of the biggest, if not the biggest, digital content creator for Trial specifically. Until next time. Ah, <laughs> oh, power.
I feel like I should have like a snap song on at the end. I got the power! <laughs> Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like